Hey everyone, this is Wei. Thanks for checking this video out and uh, let me show you how to draw a pretty face and still have it look pretty. Uh, in other words, how to draw accurately. So let me get started and I will talk about the process along the way. Alright, so let's draw this face. Um, let's see, I'm just going to start on the left side again because I'm right handed. Now, I'm just going to start right on her eye and I'm going to do um, her eyebrow first. Just, so. Because at the beginning, you, you need some kind of reference point, so I'm just going to start with that. And you can keep the, uh, just look at the eyebrow, just keep in line the, the slant, right? So there's a certain slant to this. So that's how I got um, this eyebrow started. And then it's going to curve down. And then now we're going to go straight down to her eye. We can go, let's say this is the corner. Corner to the corner is that angle, right? So it's that, and now we have the corner of your eye. So I'm going to start doing let's see other other corner of the eye you can tell, tell is like that angle so maybe somewhere around here that's the corner and then you can also check it like if you draw a line like this um, slightly down it's almost horizontal from the screen so it's gonna be probably something close to this and then let's draw our eye I'll fill in the eye. corner corner And I ball. Okay. So now we have something to go on, right? Um, it's going to be slightly larger than the reference picture. So now we have our eye. So now we can do, let's say, the just make a mark on the corner of the face. Like how far is this? And, and if you compare it, it's kind of like the width of her eye, the white area. So it's probably going to be somewhere right here somewhere around there so but let's get uh the other features too because it's a little bit more important than the, than the face we can always fill that in later now from the where's the nose star right if you and if you look at it uh, from a corner of eye you go straight down it's kind of slightly to the right of it so if i make a mark straight down here now we know the nose is going to be somewhere right here but where right so we can try tri triangulate it um if you take the corner here and we go like this that is your angle so we need to replicate that angle and we're going to push it right around it's probably something around let's see there there probably somewhere around here because that's going to be the angle so now we know you know this is going to be the corner right here so now we have this okay so now we have the corner now how wide is this nose or uh, her nose and if you look at it it's probably the width of her eye it's probably the same width so i'm going to do the width of her eye is probably somewhere around here. So now we have the width of her nose. Now keep in mind there's still a slant here because the, the whole reference is slightly slanted. It's just slanting this way. So just to give us, uh, so that we don't draw, you know, a straight nose. Okay, so then we, from the middle here, then we can just fill in the, because uh, once you have these two points here, now you can just fill in the rest. So, so now that we have those two reference points. So now we have her nose. And then let's go straight down to her mouth. Now, how far is her mouth? Uh, let's see, from here to here, it's probably from this distance to this distance. So from here to here, it's the same kind of distance. So it's probably somewhere right here. This is going to be her upper lip. And then we can draw this little triangle right here, which is probably around here. In the middle and the lip. Now, um, corner of her mouth where's the corner of her mouth and this one's slightly easier because if you go straight down from her eye it's pretty close to vertical so we again we're gonna go straight down we're gonna continue this line and this is gonna be the corner of her mouth somewhere okay so with that, we need to find this angle right so we just kind of eyeball that probably somewhere right here so this this okay now we have a corner of her mouth now to find the other corner um just keep in mind the slant here Right, there's a slight curvature and it slants upward a little bit and we need to replicate that so it slants upward and then let's see how far how far is this and we can take this angle if you like from the from her nose and we can replicate that angle and that'll give us approximately right here and we can fill in her lips upper lip and then her lower lip um, obviously if you measure this is a slightly bigger than her upper lip which is pretty normal 
So we, now we have this point and then we can just fill in the rest. Okay, so now let's, uh, let's move back up and uh, do our other eye. Okay, let's find, uh, how do we find this, right? So from this corner, you can see that slant right there. So we could need to replicate the same slant, which is probably the same as our lip too. So we're going to slant this way. And now how far do we go out? Now if we measure, it probably reaches right at our nose if we go down vertical. So in general, that's how you measure is by uh, seeing you know, relationships, like what is vertical and what is horizontal to each other. Like this point meets up with this point. Um, and, and, and that's how you, uh, you know, find those, uh, those reference points. So now that we're at the corner of the eye here, um, we can measure, let's see the width of her eye is pretty much the same as her other eye. Now keep in mind there's a slant upward too, so it's gonna go up this way. So if we measure this width to this width, it's probably somewhere right there. And it, take, it takes a little bit of practice um, to be able to you know, see a distance and put it somewhere else. But you know, the more you do it, uh, obviously the, the better you're gonna get at it. Okay, and then let's see her up. Now, how big is this eye? It looks pretty similar to her other eye, so we can actually do a little guideline like this and go straight up this way. And that'll give us uh, you know, some reference points to, to work with. So, draw her eye. Now, notice this angle right here, and that's what I'm replicating right here. And here, here. Let's see, and then it goes down this way. Eyes kind of slants upward a little bit. We got the little line there. The eyeball. And the Irish people. Okay, now the uh, the eyebrow. We can we can measure this angle again. It's pretty much the same. And this one's sl and then from here to here, that's where it starts, right from the corner of the eyes. And now we have this point here. And we gotta keep in mind this slant right here. So we're gonna do that slant. Okay, slant. And then, now how do we find this breaking point? When does it start breaking? We just, we go look straight down, and it's gonna be right around, you know, this area, right on our eye. And then the corner, kind of like that, this angle. And it looks like, probably need to make her, I think this eye's a little bit too low, but let's just go with it and uh, see what happens. Yeah, draw it a little bit higher. Okay. So now we have this. Uh, let's just finish off the rest of her face. Let's see, going back to this corner. Now, how far is this point right here? And you can measure from here to here. It's pretty similar, right? So you can get that angle like this. It'll probably bring us to the side of her face and then now we can just connect this to this little bump straight down now her chin how far is her chin um, down now keep in mind this angle too because this is just a slight tilt on the face so let's, let's just make a mark there now this distance looks like it's pretty close to you know from the bottom of her nose so we do that and then we go, we duplicate, double that distance. We're probably somewhere right here. So now we have this, and now we can just fill in the rest. Uh, this curvature right here is right under the mouth. This curves. Okay. And uh, let's get the other side of the face. Um, let's see, let's get this point. Here to here, this distance is pretty close to her eye. Right, the width of her eye. So we double the width of her eye. It'll probably give us somewhere right there. So we can do that. Now we have this point. We're gonna go straight down, kind of like this, with a slight curvature. Now where's the breaking point? Let's find the breaking point. Uh, if we go horizontally, it's right around her nose. So if we go horizontally here, it's gonna be somewhere around right here. So this is where it starts curving. And that goes down, and we can connect that. 
In her ear, uh, this is right above her nose a little bit, so probably somewhere right here. And then the top of the ear where her hair is, it's kind of right there. So it's going to be yep, right around there. So we can come down, down, and that's the ear. And let's do the hair a little bit, uh, I mean a forehead. Now to measure the forehead, it's a little bit harder because there's not a lot of reference points. But if you go straight up, see how far is this distance? It's probably, if you double it, it'll probably be somewhere right here. So we can measure from here to here, and then we double it. It'll probably be somewhere right here. Okay. And it's like a, right here, it starts curving. You can look down. It's right around her eyebrow right here. So now we know this curves right here, kind of straight down. And you know, this part you can see just kind of goes in, go down. I think we could just kind of eyeball that. I mean, you, you can measure, you know, maybe from this distance to this distance, how far is that, and things like that. Um, but if some of them are a little bit more obvious, so you can just kind of quickly eyeball it in. Then a hair, 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 hair. Okay, so let's do her neck. Where's her neck? It goes straight up. It's right on the eye. Straight up. That's her neck. And then this right here. Right here. Right around here. All right, so let's check the features and see how close we got. Let me make the lines a little bit darker here and let's duplicate this layer and I'll we'll move it over and then we can check it. So we're going to scale it up because I knew I'd draw a little bit bigger. Let's scale it up and let's find some points to match up and let's do her, actually do her nose. Scale it up. Her nose and her eye, we can start with her eye. Okay. So probably be around there. Now we can check it. So it looks like the error. Let's see. We started from the eye. We started from the eye here, and then again, this eye was a little bit lower. I think we I caught that at the beginning, but we just went with it. Um, and then her mouth, it looks like, yeah, it needs to slant up a little bit more. I got it kind of straight, so as you can see, the corner of her mouth is a little bit off. And then the chin, yeah, a little bit, could be a little bit lower. But, um, I mean, overall, it's not bad, you know, for a first pass. Um, so if I were to finish this drawing, you, what I'll do is, you know, I'll, I'll correct those little errors and, and things like that. But you can see just by this kind of measuring uh, method of just seeing relationships, you can get it uh, fairly close on a first pass. And the more you do it, you know, the more you're going to be able, able to see these uh, relationships and the more accurate you're going to be. So let me recap this real quick and uh, just, just talk about some, some exercises that you can do. So whenever you look at anything, like a face, you know, um, what you want to do is start measuring and get angles of stuff. Like if I look at this face, you know, what is the angle from, from, from the corner of the eye, you know, how f like what's the slant, right? If, if I exaggerate it, now you can easily see that it's slanting upwards. And you know, how, how wide is, this, is, her, uh, is her eye? And how wide is her nose? And you can start comparing things like, you know, I'll, I'll say this eye is probably, you know, not as wide as her, as her nose. And her eye was, is probably only this, this wide, right? And then you can, you know, in Photoshop, I guess you can, you can check it easier, things like that. So it's just a matter of seeing relationships, you know, this thing going straight down. And it's always like between vertical and uh, and horizontal. You know, those are the easiest one to measure. Uh, and vert vertically works really well because um, you know you, it's easier to see, like you know, from the, the corner of her eyes to her, to her nose. You know, corner of her mouth. How far does it go up? You know, things like that. Like even like here, her brow. Where does it where does it go down or here? And from here to here, what's the angle? So. Those are the things that you know you want to look at when, when when you're sketching and drawing. And so let me show you some exercises that you can do to improve your artistic eye. All right, so to uh, practice on seeing relationships, um, there's a lot of easy things you can do. Um, 
let's just say you know you draw a line like this right and then somewhere else what you do is just try to draw that uh, line again but with the same width so see if you can get it uh, close to what you have drawn initially so if I draw something like this I think that's pretty close. Um, now, of course, I'm working in Photoshop, so it's easier to, for me to check. Uh, if you're doing it with, with pencils and stuff, you know, you can use a ruler and, and things like that. So, so it's really fun. You know, you can just do something like that, and then just somewhere else, you know, further away, try to draw the same length. And you know, you can, you can again, you can you can start checking how close you get. Another thing you can do is angles, right? Um, being able to see angles. Let's say I'm going to draw that. Well, draw the same angle somewhere else. I can do that. And I can check it, right? Yeah, pretty close. Or uh, maybe even, you know, something crazy. Maybe a line like this. I try to draw the same shape somewhere else. And I can check it. So, it's a really good exercise because you, you can just go like that and then draw the same length somewhere else. I'll do that. Or maybe even draw it at a different angle, but but try to keep the same length. Maybe something like this. That will be pretty. Cool. Maybe let's see. Let's see if that's close. So that's pretty close. Um, so that's you know just trying to uh, you know get get used to seeing the length of things. Now let's say you're doing uh, some placement. Let's say I'm gonna I'll draw a line like this. And I'm gonna take this edge. I'm gonna draw something on the bottom here, that is uh, that is you know to the to the left of this edge. So if I draw a line, something like this, now this this should be vertical. See, so that's that's pretty close, right? Now if you draw something like this, then obviously you didn't see the uh, you didn't see that 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 vertical um, comparison. So let's say I can do something like this. Let's draw something to the right of it, maybe further down. Maybe I'll do it from here. Okay, and then I can check it, see how close I got. So my, I'm a little bit off, right? Obviously, the further down, the further the distance, you know, the harder things are. Um, so that's another way of checking placement. And here's a, something, you can also do this. Let's say you draw a circle. Now let's do, um, draw a line that represents the, 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 uh, the width of the circle. So to see that circle I'm, I'm looking at that circle I'm, I'm trying to vision you know how wide that that thing is so I, I can check this I think I'm, I might have drawn this a little bit too wide oh, actually it's pretty close so that's another thing you can do so just do a little circle and then well let's draw a line uh, with the, the width of this maybe at a different angle and see how close I can get to that let's say I do that and I put it in so that's pretty close so those are exercises you can do, you know, if, 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 you're, if you're drawing this and you're doing this, then, you know, you, you probably got a long way to go. Um, but it's just a matter of training your eye, and it's, it's, it's pretty cool, you know, once you get it, it's just, you see things a little bit differently. So, uh, yeah, just, you know, just try these little exercise, and next time, you, next time you see a face, just, you know, start envisioning this kind of stuff over it, you know. Where is it matching up? You know, how, what are the angles, you know. And then you're going to start seeing things, and, and once you're able to see it, then you can replicate it. Alright, so that's it for this uh, video, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.